Hey, what's going on everybody? Are you excited for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? Good, because we're going to talk about Thor Ragnarok. I'll get back to Guardians of the Galaxy in just a minute. First, we got to talk about Thor Ragnarok. So anyway, just a couple of days ago, the director of Thor Ragnarok tweeted out and posted a picture that he is ready to wrap the actual shooting process of Thor. Now, obviously, there will be reshoots happening down the road next year, but for now, he's done and they're about to go into the editing process and doing all the visual effects and everything like that for the release next November. But he actually did send out a video that made its way online of like the final days and everything. And this video features quite a few things in it. Now the most notable thing in this video is this particular helmet. Now a lot of people are going to be wondering what the hell this is. So this is where we talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 and maybe even Volume 2 at this stage. We don't really know right now because this is a Celestial. Yeah, that's right, you know, the Celestial, and this also happens to be Xeron, one of the Celestials that's from the Marvel comics. Now, by now, you're probably starting to connect pieces together because we already saw Celestial in Guardians of the Galaxy. But we, of course, didn't just get that one Celestial, we, of course, got to look at a second one, which was, of course, the Head of Nowhere. So as you can see, clearly they're hinting at some sort of involvement of the Celestials. Now obviously wanting to speed everything up towards getting, you know, uh, Infinity War going and everything. It was, I think, a given that we were going to get some sort of hints into the bigger cosmic universe in Thor Ragnarok. Now obviously you look at this and you kind of think about it for a second. There seems to be a lot going in towards Celestials inevitably showing up on Earth. And it's kind of interesting to see, you know, are they going to actually be like the precursor to before Thanos shows up? Are they going to actually be part of the Infinity War? And, you know, what, like, is the extent of their use? Since, obviously, they know about them now. You know, the Celestials are out there. So, what is their reasoning for being? And specifically, why would they be in Thor Ragnarok? But I must say, I am excited. You know, Celestials are our next biggest, most badass thing we have next to Galactus. And since they can't use Galactus, well, might as well use these guys and make them look badass and towering, you know, the size of buildings. And I mean, when you look at the one from Guardians, he's quite huge compared to those temples. So I definitely can't wait. You guys let me know your thoughts on this. Are you excited to see some Celestials show up in Thor Ragnarok and down the road in the rest of the MCU?